Yo, what up guys, your boy Rhythm. In this video, I wanted to showcase what I'm personally gonna be running and using on the launch of New World. Now this is basically a key factor in how I was able to do so much damage in such a short window with the bow. It just has so much damage potential. Now as you can see from this screenshot, I was able to hit a level 40 that was most likely in light gear, so that, that makes a lot of sense, but up to 2500 damage in one hit. And it's pretty consistent. I've been asked quite frequently on what gear I was using and what talents I was running, so this is going to be a quick, simple guide on that. Now before I start, please keep in mind that this is not the only viable build for bow and rapier. There are plenty of other options and there's no way I had enough time to test every option in these betas, so I'll be updating this guide as soon as I figure out more things. Anyways, let's first get the gear out of the way. I'll throw up some images of the exact gear I was using so that you can have an idea of what to use. Now as a keynote, remember that you can buy this little item and it'll allow you to change the stats on faction gear only. So basically I was using all faction gear with a medium chest piece and the rest are light so that I can stay in the light category. Now all of this can be obtained by just simply PvPing or just doing your PvP missions. It's super easy. Now as for the weapons, I specifically found a big damage increase when I got the 370 weapons from Amarin. Now these are very important, as you can see they add a lot of value to your damage, so make sure you spend a lot of time running this dungeon multiple times unless you're just simply trying to rush to level 60, which in my opinion I advise against because mastery is like just as important if not more important than just rushing to level 60. Okay so now for the mastery area, I feel like I'm just going to freelance this for you guys so that way we can go over every passive and talent that you could get. Now remember, keep in mind again, this is not the best build, this is just something that I use personally and I felt like it really made my damage like skyrocket when I got a certain mastery. And that certain mastery is probably around 13 to 15 mastery is when I really started noticing my damage increase. Um, so the first thing you want to do is we'll go over the bow. Uh, you want to definitely get evade shot as like your number one priority and I feel like this is important because like it's your only getaway or not your not your getaway but you're, you're like you're kind of uh, CC because if you get the evasive knockback it causes a like a, like a stagger in your opponent if you hit him with it um, now if you have this and penetrating shot now you have two abilities that stagger so penetrating shot and evade shot are the most important things out of everything um, so I would start off basically by getting this getting the passive for um, evade shot and then also grabbing evasive tactics which as you can see after you roll you deal 20 percent more damage for five seconds now this is kind of huge because you'll get into the habit of rolling every time you're going to take a shot um or you'll just in general roll a lot as because like people are going to be coming at you non-stop so rolling is kind of huge and you'll be doing it like all the time uh so i would grab these three things right here um and then i would head straight into the hunter tree now grabbing a bunch of passes from the hunter tree basically gives you so much damage it's crazy um, so of course i would get penetrating shot first um, and then i would probably come down here and grab um, probably this one the finishing shot just because you know when they're under that 50 percent health it's kind of like an execute in a way 20 percent more damage is huge and that stacks with evasive tactics so you can tell like just right there 40 percent more damage is kind of kind of big um, now Though I have poison shot, but like I said, you won't really really get poison shot until you get around 15 mastery. Um, obviously, you can get it like within the, what three mastery, but you don't want to do it right off the bat. So I would grab rapid shot because this shot's actually like this ability is really good. It's just very hard to hit. It's very hard to hit and like all your shots and be consistent with it. Um, but the last shot does cause a knockback. So technically, if you were to hit that one, uh, the third shot, then you would have three staggers. Uh, already so it's kind of huge on that so I would definitely grab rapid shot I wouldn't touch any of the passives uh, in my opinion unless you were really going rapid shot uh, but I would just grab that temporarily um, I'm not going to check it here because this is going to be like the end game build if, if somebody wanted to just look at what I was showing uh, so after you grab rapid shot just so you have your three abilities then I would start going down um, honestly like it's kind of hard to say which one you would want more uh, this one actually, this one actually is kind of huge too. If you were to grab this as well, you can that's 20%, 20%, 20%. So right there, that's 60% damage. As long as your your opponent is 10 meters away, which is really not hard. Uh, so tons of more damage right there. Um, here you go, here you go as well. Heavy attack arrows fly faster and deal 30% more damage. That's another 30% more damage uh, from heavy attacks. Heavy attacks really aren't that difficult to get off with a bow. So 
It's crazy. 90% right there already. Um, I wouldn't really grab these passives in penetrating shot just yet. I would do this kind of like at the very end. These aren't, aren't too crazy. Um, and I'll speak more on that in just a second. Um, if you go here, heavy attacks deal 20% damage to foes with 100% health. Now, obviously not, it's very rare to find someone with 100% health, but as a good opener, or if you're just sneaking up on somebody, that's another additional 20% damage to somebody that has no idea with all these things added up. So you can, you can only imagine how much damage you could get off with a, uh, like, I guess somebody that doesn't have any idea you're there. So it's kind of crazy. Um, I, I want to say this error range, I didn't really notice a huge effect, but people are telling me that it, it, it is pretty huge. Uh, regardless, it's still hard, very hard to hit very long shots uh, just because of the way the gravity works with the arrow. But um, I do recommend getting it because, I mean, as people say, it does help. I just didn't notice it as much, maybe just because I adjusted to it by the time I got to this area. Um, now, surprise attack, if you haven't damaged a foe in the last 10 seconds, you deal another 20% extra damage. Like, you can just see right off the bat how much damage you're stacking up just from your passives here. It's kind of crazy. Um, and then you come down here, you grab bullseye. Bow critical shots increase uh, by 10%. That's, that's not too crazy, but that's good. Uh, the only passives I don't really get in here are Unbreakable Focus, which gives, you know, 10% less damage while aiming. You don't really want to be sitting and aiming and taking shots, you know what I mean? Like taking swings at you and stuff. Not really that big. Uh, there's no way I would really grab this passive. The only other passive I didn't get also was the Hawkeye, which heals you for 10% of the damage when you land a headshot. I mean, 10% is nice, but it's not huge and you're not always going to be hitting headshots headshot builds are not really viable in my opinion because you, you can't really control it you could just so many different scenarios so it just doesn't really work out as good as you would think it would um so that's all the passives i think that's enough to get concussion if not then i would just put a point or two in here obviously uh but then you grab concussion and when you land a headshot you do 20 percent more damage again like the multipliers are insane for Bo. So that is how you get so much damage um, and really high crits off people. Uh, and then you get 50% chance to get your arrow back, which is always nice because arrows are probably the most annoying thing when you're playing the bow build. Like, you just have to constantly keep making arrows. Um, so then we come over here to the skirmisher tree. Now, once you hit around 13 or 15 mastery, you can then start dipping your toes into over here. The reason I don't get poison shot right off the bat is like I mentioned earlier, because of the certain scenarios, you want to grab a lot of passives from over here. Uh, but when you get to 15 mastery, you grab poison shot, um, and then you start dipping your toes into this kind of stuff. Now, I would grab poison shot and immediately go over here to archer speed, because you, once you gain this haste, it's it's really good. Every time you swap to your bow, um, 10 second cooldown, you gain that 10% haste. You're just faster in general. It's really nice to have when you're chasing people down or even trying to get away. Um, and then you start going for the damage. So basically you get the poison shot. It, it does the weapon damage uh, for 20 seconds, right? Um, and then you grab the debuff lasting 20% longer, which is always nice. I don't know the exact time that it'll last. I can't really do math in my head right now, um, but it's, it's, it's substantial. It's a good amount. Um, and then I would grab Mark, which deals 10% more damage, once again, to people that are suffering from a debuff. So anybody in your poison cloud or has the debuff from the poison cloud, uh, you now deal 10% along with all the rest of your passives. So as you can tell, it's just, there's just so much damage. So many multipliers in the right tree over here, Hunter, that it's just kind of insane to pick up. Now, um, I know there's some, some things that are good here. Here you go. After you dodge, gain 10% haste for two seconds. It's kind of nice. But you just don't really have the points to give to it. You know, you want all these multipliers. You want these things down here. Uh, you could probably give up a skill, maybe. Um, maybe one of these skills. Maybe the 10% damage isn't too huge. And then grab the haste. So, like I said, you can mix and match. There's certain things that'll work, certain things that won't. Uh, I haven't had much time to play with a lot of builds. Uh, once we get more into launch and stuff, and I start, you know, having the ability to play with everything, uh, I would probably will have multiple builds for different scenarios and stuff. So I'll, I'll make an updated guide later on. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of looking through this stuff. It's not, nothing's really great. The haste would be nice. It's not huge. You know what I mean? Like it, it, there's a lot of nice passives and stuff. There's just nothing that's, that's, that would make me change my mind from all these damage increases over here. So as you can tell, the right tree over here, Hunter has just tons, tons of multipliers. Uh, and that's why I really feel like my damage started to excel when I got to around you know, 13 to 15 mastery. 
Um, so we'll go over to the rapier now. Um, and rapier is pretty easy. As you can see here, you want to just basically grab everything on the right tree. Um, the left tree is more for bleeds, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's just it's the ton of bleeds. The only passive I get from here is deal 10% damage when your target has greater than 50% health. Because that's always nice. Um, this one isn't really huge because like I, you don't want to unless you're you're dominantly playing with melee you don't really want to use this because as a bow user i feel like you're more of trying to keep your distance from people who use your bow over everything you know so nothing too huge um but over here i feel like it's not even worth going through everything there's just so many good things in here like you just grab literally everything in the rapier tree over here on grace um the individual successful light attacks reduce the cooldowns so like this evade ability comes off cooldown so much and you can use this to go towards your opponent you can use it to go around them you can use it to back off or dodge stuff it's just so much utility in this ability it's it's kind of nuts uh fletch is also nice for going and, and chasing down people or even using it to get away you'll see me use it a lot of my videos for getting away uh, or chasing people down um and then this one's nice as well after you use it your next uh will have its critical damage basically increased by 15 percent always nice to have um yeah, there's just so much stuff. This this is kind of nuts. If you do hit people, and you get this up to five stacks, it's so much haste. Like you're just you're just yeah, you're crazy with the rapier at that point. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of nice stuff in here. The the um, I guess the ultimate for it is really nice. Twenty five percent increased damage on your next light or heavy attack. Usually after a repost, I will go straight into a heavy. So you can tell um, that. After I use your post and I do a heavy, it's just, it's so much damage. And then you evade behind them and just start poking them like crazy. And uh, yeah, it really works out. The only thing I'm going to say now about Rapier is that I really feel like Repost is not going to be good for end game. And the reason I'm saying that um, is, I don't know if I can actually, yeah, you can see here. If you look at 300 points for strength, so this is going to be for all the melee users, all the people that are using Great Axe, Hatchet, you know, all that stuff. Um, their light and heavy attacks with melee weapons are going to gain grit and grit means like 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 super armor like you can't be interrupted during it so basically they can swing away with a light with a heavy as much as they want and uh you're not gonna be able to interrupt them so there's gonna be like like i feel like in game is gonna change a lot um i think at that point when that starts happening i'm gonna get rid of a post i'm probably gonna go with flurry because i've seen a couple of videos of people using flurry and it does quite a bit of damage uh, but like I said, I, I will update this guide and create more whenever we start to get towards end game and just, you know, as I learn new things, I will keep it updated. Um, but yeah, though, that's pretty much it. I'm not really going to go through as many things on the rapier tree just because like it's pretty self-explanatory of why you get everything. Like I said, the whole left tree is nothing but bleeds. Um, there's some decent stuff in there. It's just nothing really too crazy. Um, but yeah, this is exactly what you want to run. 10% more damage when your stamina, your stamina is usually always low, so that's always good. Uh, critical strikes, you always crit, especially if you hit in the back. So, um, there's just, yeah, so many things. Every time you use, every time you use evade, you get 20% movement speed. So, for three seconds, like I said, kind of nuts. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I showed you guys the gear and everything, and I showed you guys the bow, uh, and the talents, and, and, everything you need to know hopefully i didn't miss too much i know i didn't talk about gems gems are kind of they're kind of still in the air i don't know exactly what gems i'm going to use because i know some of them are bugged um but if i had to choose i know i said void but i heard that gems you know the, those void ones and whatever are kind of bugged there's like two gems i think it's like emerald or something else that i'd probably go with. but like i said I'll, I'll probably make a future guide on that on gems specifically um because there's a lot of good ones in there uh, but yeah, so hopefully this this helped you guys. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, because obviously you guys have some builds that you want to talk about, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, or yeah, like I, like I said, if you had any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button, guys. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.